and welcome. We'll get started today with the invocation, so please bow your heads while we pray. Almighty God, we ask your blessings this day for those assembled here and also on those who are not because of illness or other distress. We are here to lift up these graduates and honorees and to affirm and celebrate their accomplishments. Some graduates have earned their degrees despite many difficulties and obstacles. All have worked diligently to complete their work. We know, Lord, that the learning does not stop here, and we ask your guidance for our graduates, whether they are continuing as college students or beginning new careers or both. We ask your continued blessing on the college as the board, administration, faculty, and staff work to carry out your mission for the school. Please help all of us daily in the sure knowledge of your presence of our, in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Next, I'd like to introduce William Montag. He's the chairman of the Chatfield College Board of Trustees to say a few words. Bill? Thanks, Bob. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, we want to offer our congratulations to you on this incredible achievement. All of your hard work, long hours, and dedication have paid off. We are very proud of you. Remember, our mission at Chatfield is to empower you to better yourself, your employability, and your future. Whether this is your final degree, or whether you use this degree as a step toward your bachelor's degree, or a more advanced degree, you've already improved yourself. Be sure to reflect on this milestone in your life. I also ask that you remember Chatfield and the impact that Chatfield has had on your life. How can you help? Stay in touch with us, we really like that. Tell the Chatfield story to those you know and meet, particularly those who may be prospective students. If you have the time, consider volunteering at Chatfield. If you received a scholarship from Chatfield, please remember that someone gave their hard-earned dollars to make that difference for you. If you have financial success in the future, consider paying it forward. We are very excited for your future and watching your dreams come true. Congratulations. And I will turn it over to Bob Elmore, the president of Chatfield College. Thank you, Bill. Welcome graduate family and friends to the 49th commencement ceremony at Chatfield College. I'm honored to participate in recognizing your outstanding accomplishment, earning your Associate of Arts degree. This will be one of the major milestones in your life and we're happy to celebrate this with you. This celebration is designed with you as the focal point in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Our desire is to provide you with the best experience possible and so a professional video recording is being made for distribution to all of our graduates and for general viewing among the public at the end of the month. So welcome and let's proceed with the ceremony. Next up, it will be Marvin Smith, who's our commencement speaker this year. And we have Marvin's speech recorded on the TV to your left, so please take a minute to review that. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome the class of 2020, Chatfield College, Cincinnati, Ohio. Hello and congratulations. I'm Marvin Smith. I'm a professor here three years at Chatfield College and it's indeed an honor, I'm humbled, to be here speaking the commencement address. But it's your day. Enjoy it, celebrate, take pictures, be with your family. Take pictures to remember forever. This is your day a real accomplishment. Tomorrow, let's get back to work. We, you, don't have time to lay back. Take time off. We don't have time to take time off and get comfortable. We must be about our business of getting ahead. Never, never, ever think you've done enough. Sure, you've taken that big first step here, your two-year degree, your college degree, you're ready to go. But get yourself more education. Get yourself a better job. You might have a job now and it's paying your bills, but I want you to get you a better job. That's what this is all about. Get more education so you can get more for yourself and more for your family, so you can enjoy the richness of American life. Don't be afraid of making money. Don't ever be satisfied. Keep wanting more. Make as much money as you possibly can in this world so that you can go out here and do as much good as you can. Please, 
don't forget the people that have gotten you to this point. There's shoulders you've stepped on and there's hands you shake and there's things that people have done for you to help you. Don't forget that. Reach back and help somebody else. Know who you are. Keep focus on getting more education. Find something that you like to do, that you enjoy doing, and then figure out a way to make money out of it. My five sisters taught me how to cook when I was probably seven or eight years old. Today, I own a restaurant that's been in business for 30 years. I like to cook, and I found out how to make money doing it. Although I have a degree, a master's degree, but what I like to do is cook. So I want you to find out what it is that God-given talents you have and go for it. Always reach for the stars. I was in real estate for several years. People would ask $100,000 for a building. It was probably only worth 50, but they asked for the sky and they finally settled. So I want you to keep reaching for the sky. Keep asking and want more and want more education. It's tough times that we're going through right now that people that dig in at this time and create opportunities for themselves is to get ahead. Don't let things that are going on now hold you back. Go for it. Reach higher. Find something that you'd like to do and be a success for you, yourself, and your family. Congratulations. Enjoy yourself. But remember what I said. Go back to work tomorrow. Go get yourself more education. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day. Well, by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio and the Chatfield College Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Associate of Arts degree and all the accompanying rights and privileges thereof. Congratulations. Let's bow our heads once more, please. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the reaching of this end and for this new beginning, for our shared joy and finished aims and goals. Have mercy on these graduates. Please guide them to their destinies and show them love. Please bless them at this starting gate with all the keys they'll need. Amen. Amen.